Hi everybody, this is Matt from Matt Chris's Games. Hi. Today we'll be doing a pack wars with the best dad in the world, my dad. Hello. <laughs> so as you can see, we're going to be doing a pack wars with a Thoravolt. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Look at you in 3D. We have our 12 lands, tokens to the side, and we have an app that tells us our life. And as you can see, there's poison counters on here for some reason. But it's actually not poison, we're using it for energy. <clears throat> and I am so happy we're not using that for poison because I'm not a big fan of playing against poison, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I have a Legacy Infect deck, so. Oh, so Proxy. you love playing it, but you don't like playing against it. Right. I mean, I like playing it, too. So, my family and I have our own way of playing Pack Wars, and we also have some house rules. So, Dad, would you like to explain them to everybody? Sure. So, what we do is we take one normal pack of magic, open it up, don't look at the cards, take out the land and the token, and then you shuffle that together with the land that we set aside. Now, you'll notice I'm playing with all planes, and I'm playing with all mountains. So what that uh, means is that when we're playing with these lands, they can basically tap for any color. So this way, you don't have to worry about getting uh, the wrong like, color mana. Even if it says, like, sacrifice, uh, for example, for mine, even if it says sacrifice an island, I can still sacrifice a mountain. Right. This is like, um, what's it called? Mana confluence, but without taking the damage. Right. So it's just a way to keep the games running smoothly without worrying about not getting the right color mana. Yeah. And we change the number of land that we put in uh, depending on Be the set. Because in Battle for Zendikar and... Both of the gate and I never remember that set. Even when my dad tells me two times a minute ago, I never remember the set for some reason. Because... Um, in Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gate Watch, I remembered it! Yay! Yes! Um, there was a lot of Eldrazi cards, for example, that had like 6 mana, 8 mana, and some even had 10 mana. And like the, the Mythic Eldrazi's had like 12 mana, so we would have to get all our mana to cast it. So we found out that 15 mana, or land, was a lot better because you would need a lot more, you would take up a lot more time getting a small chance of getting a land. Right, but in Aether Revolt, it's a, the, a lot of the cards are oh, less, less expensive, so we find that 12 really works best I believe, for that. like, one of the most expensive cards in the set is, like, 6 energy or 7, so... Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our pack, we're gonna, not going to look at the cards, take out the land and the token, we're going to shuffle together with our uh, lands, and then... Uh, once we start playing the game, it's a normal game of magic. Um, well, one of some of the rules we have is that you can't mulligan unless you have seven lands in your hand. Because um, you don't want to be sitting there with seven lands in your hand and be like, Oh, I better not draw a land. Right. And if you have six lands in your hand, you get to scry one. Right, but you have to reveal the six lands. So or the seven land. Right. Because if you don't reveal the seven land, you're like, you know what? I have one land and six other stuff, and I hate my hand, and I'm just not going to show my opponent. So it makes it more fair if you show your opponent. couple other rules real quick. You can't lose by drawing out your deck, so if the yes. game goes long and you take all your cards, the game still goes until somebody wins. Um, there's no maximum hand size, so if you end up drawing a couple expensive cards, you uh, don't uh, you know, get penalized for that, and your deck's not really that big anyway. Um, and that's it. The game goes on until somebody wins or until nobody can win, in which case, instead of having a draw, what we do is we take out all of the, uh, the non-land cards, shuffle them up, and we play a game of war. I believe it's happened to us once, but, yeah. but we didn't have that rule at the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we only discovered war like a year ago. Well, it's not the newest thing for us, right. but it's not the oldest either. All right, so we're going to roll some dice to see who goes first. Matt, you can have the honors. And that's a 10. ten. That's pretty good. And I'm going to roll a 8. eight. So right. far, I am 2-0 oh throwing dice because I beat you and Mom with it. 
Okay, so do you want to be on the draw or do you want to play second? <laughs> you know what, Dad? Guys, I'm feeling super generous today. And I want to let my dad be on the draw. Oh, you're so nice. I know. So we find that if you hold up, hold the label side up. The pack card. The pack card up. I have a Johnny and when, he has some random dude. When you take out the cards, you'll have the back of the token facing you. So you don't accidentally look at any of the cards in your deck. This art looks really cool on the back. Yeah, it's cool. So I got a planes and a servo. I got a servo. Planes? Mountain! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're since got our decks. Because both his colors and I got a mountain to go well, with don't my mix them up. I'm switching one with my... I'm switching right. one with another mountain in my deck to give me luck. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle my pack and my lands. Now you notice we don't play with sleeves. Uh, we do try to be very careful with the cards. So um, because you know, if we do get something good, like a uh, an invention or a foil, foil mythic, mythic. You know, just have to be very careful with the cards. Yeah. We don't Sometimes when we have uh, uh, my wife out or Matt's mom, or like we're playing like not on video, we have like um, let's say my dad, me and my dad are playing. My mom always checks the pack. My mom always wants to look at the pack to see if what we got. And we tell her if we got an invention or a masterpiece, tell us that we got it so we can be so we have to be super duper careful. Because one time we were doing a draft and she got um with um what's it called? Eternal Masters. Mm -hmm. And when I found out that she pulled like one of the really good cards in the set, a Jace. The Jace the Mind Sculptor. So she looked it up and she, in her head, I went after she told me, she was like, wow, I better be careful with this. <laughs> I think it was like $100 at the time. Yeah, I think we got it for like 60 I mean, we sold it for like 60 or something like that. Something like that. All right, so here's my deck. I mean, we needed to get, we wanted to sell before it spiked down, before it went straight down. Because reprints tend to do that. And I still remember that one video where we got that triple pack from GameStop and that mm -hmm. one pack had a Snapcaster <laughs> Mage. Well, you also had the World Week pack in there, and I don't think we got the Jace. We got the, uh, the Land. Bandland. The Land. Yeah. The blue, blue and black one, I believe. I don't remember its name. Creeping Tar Pit. Right. But there we go. Alright, so, so, seven cards. Wait, before you look at your cards. Good luck. Good luck. I'm on the play. Alright. Um, I can't mulligan or spry. Pass. So, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, really? What? Oh, I get to go ahead? Alright, I'm gonna play Enchantment, Gonti's Machinations. Whenever I lose life for the first time each turn, I get a energy. Pay two energy and sacrifice this. Each opponent loses three life That's and gain life. That's broken! That's going to be good in my uh, Enchantment Matters EDH deck. That's broken. Yeah. Go ahead. That's so good. Go. Uh-oh. What? Well, then you're going to make a tip play. Tap two. I'm going to play the Countless Gears Renegade. Now this has a revolt trigger, which doesn't happen. Which doesn't matter, but otherwise I could get a one-one colorless servo token. Go ahead. Mountain. I'll play mobile wireless. Oh. When well, it that's attacks, a big one. it has crew two for a three-four. Whenever it attacks, um, it's having another target artifact or creature I control. It seems good. Go. Right. Its name is actually Mobile Garrison, but its nickname for me is Mobile Wireless. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, you don't have anything that can block. That's not a creature, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing for two. Mm -hmm. I'm at 18, you're at 20. Okay. I'm going to pay three. I'm going to play the Renegade Wheelsmith. Whenever this creature becomes tapped, target creature can't block this turn. Mm -hmm. So... I'll pass.
Outland of War. Oh, yeah. The 4 4 can be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. It's pretty big. Crew and attack for 3, and they're on top of this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lose 3 life. And you get an energy. And I get an energy. Go! <clears throat> You're at 17, I'm at 18, and you have 1 energy. Yep. Let's see. Interesting. 4 land. Alright, so I'm going to go to combat. I'm assuming with these two, when this becomes tapped, this creature can't block this turn. So you're going to take 13. 5. And I'll pay 2 more, and I'll play the Verdant Automaton. It's a 1-2, but I can pay 3 and a green to put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Last turn. But It's really good in the later game when you have like 8 mana. Hate it. I really don't like it at all. Like not even close to liking it. <sighs> hmm. Really? You for three. Um. All right. I guess I'll take three. You get an energy. Two, three. And I get another energy. Shock. You're shocking my automaton? No. All right, shocking this guy? Yeah. All right. Go. <clears throat> wait, mm. actually, wait. Wait a second before you go. Okay. I actually like to do something. Go ahead. Either poisoner, when I enter the battlefield, I get two energy. It's a 1-1 one, one with death touch, even when it attacks. I may pay two energy if I do create a... Color one one color the servo. Hmm. Go. <clears throat> uh, that's a problem. All right. I forgot what I can do here. Um. Hmm. Well, I can't attack favorably into a four four. And I don't want to kill one of my creatures. So I'm gonna just pay five. Well, you know what. I'm gonna go to combat. Attack you for three. I don't trust you. Why not? Why don't you block? I don't trust you. <sighs> These are you. I don't trust you. I gave it away. Yeah, you did. Lifecraft Cavalry. Ah! Four four trample. If you had killed one of my guys, it would have entered with the uh, two plus one plus one counters. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Oh, thank you! Mm. Sorry, you're not going to attack this turn. I actually have two RNG. All right, so you're attacking with the 4-4. Four, four. What? Can I have a servo, please? How are you making a servo? Oh, the Aether Poisoner. I didn't know you were attacking with him. There you go. All right, so it's a 4-4 four, four and a 1-1. One, one. Put me down to uh, 9. Do I want to trade my 4-4 four, four away? No, no. I think I'll just take the 5. And I'll gain an energy. Oh, I'm sorry, did you have a combat trick? No. No? Alright. Go. On your, uh, you know, I'll hold on to that for a second. I'm just on tap. You had no follow-up plays? No. Aw. What? I thought I'd feel bad for you. I'm going to play Siege Modification. <gasps> Enchant Creature or Vehicle. If it was a vehicle, it becomes a creature in addition to its other types. So now it gets oh. plus 3, plus 0, and First Strike. First Strike and Trample is usually pretty good. And it had First Strike! And it's got First Strike. And we'll go to Combat. And I'm just going to swing with this guy here. So that's... Seven. 
Kill, spell, kill, spell, uh, kill, 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 spell. Kill, and spell. go ahead. I wish I still had the shock. I think it's game. Crew? Three? No! Well, when he attacks, everything you get to turn something back. Everything at you. Everything at me? Yeah. Alright, in response, I'm going to yeah, pay two energy. Sacrifice it, you lose three life. Good game. So dad, did you have any, uh, you had no uh, response to that? I couldn't. Uh, I this, it says three damage! Oh. Uh, if I still the shock! Dead! Sorry. Oh, my radar is right on the bottom. Aether Geo Miner. Oh, interesting. Not the card I wanted. Let's see, what did I get? I got... What I wanted... Eh. My oh, rear is oh. a Aether Tide Whale. I'm not going to... Oh, no, I need two more. All right, well, that was fun. Good games. Good game. I can't? couldn't have gotten that. Sorry. Do you have anything else that would have saved my life? I also had an alley evasion, which lets me return a creature that I control to my hand. But I don't think that would have really been good in this situation. Yeah, that's what I needed, taken into custody. Uh, let's see, Aegis Automaton. Now. So, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please share with your friends. I vote through count it. Matt reviews all. And it's a Facebook account, it's Matt Chris's Games. And if you want to send, send me to so CBM, give me an email at mattchrisesgames at gmail.com. And bye! bye. You can't really see that. So, also, so you don't want the magic symbol. Yeah. So just magic symbol and further, okay? Yeah. For me, it's ultra. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. 3, 2, 1, action.